one of the first things we saw with businesses was uh, the, the need to move uh, huge amounts of people from um, physical locations to remote working. Um, and uh, I think we can say that um, most of our firms did this uh, very successfully uh, together with their business partners, um, moving um, very large workforces who deal with um, you know, issuing policies uh, and paying claims uh, to, to home working. Um, at the moment, uh, we continue to see that valid claims are being uh, paid uh, promptly and a lot of our firms have managed to get back to um, more normalized uh, customer service levels. Um, we've also seen a lot of um, government support uh, to businesses through the beat COVID measures um, and also uh, Task Force Future is considering other measures such as uh, business notes. So. Uh, there has been uh, government support for, for some of the industries out there. Some insurance companies have disputed the small print in policies as regards infectious disease. The FCA has intervened on this. In Gibraltar, would you expect any similar sort of intervention? Well, we, we expect firms to pay valid claims um, promptly and, and, and fairly. Uh, insurance companies have a general duty to uh, treat customers fairly uh, and to avoid customer detriment. If um, consumers feel that they are not being treated fairly by the firms, then they can uh, reach out to us and our contact details are, are on our website. Are you concerned this will put strain on local insurance companies as well? well we're confident that Gibraltar's insurance sector remains strong and, and financially resilient. Um, the, the vast majority of insurance that is written by Gibraltar insurance companies is um, UK Motor. Um, and with the UK lockdown measures, um, that's resulted in, in around 70% less road traffic uh, and hence it's led to uh, both uh, lower accidents and, and lower claims being submitted to the insurance companies. Uh, so overall at the moment we don't expect a significant impact on, on the solvency across the sector. Um, we do remain vigilant and we are in constant contact with our firms to understand the impact that the pandemic is having on, on them on their customers and on their employees. Uh, we continue to coordinate with both other regulators and international bodies to understand how the pandemic is, is affecting uh, business in general.